Let's chat about the base rate fallacy. This is a fallacy in which probabilities are ignored and another assertion is made and given an, uh, another fallacious reason uh, for happening. And, and so the perfect example of this would be uh, cancer being healed uh, through faith or, or through prayer. And medical research has shown that of every million people who have cancer, a certain percentage will be spontaneously uh, healed or they'll go into remission. And that's just, it just happens. And so, and I don't know what those percentages are, but let's just say that out of every million people, uh, 0.1% uh, will come out of it. Let's just, you know, a thousand people out of a million will spontaneously go into remission. So now we have that list of a thousand people, and probably on that list of a thousand people are several hundred, at least, who are faithful people, who believe in their religion, their god or gods, and they ask their god or gods to heal them. And sure enough, they go into remission, and then they say, God healed me. My faith is what healed me. And they're ignoring that they were already part of that tenth of one percent that we're going to go into remission anyway. And it wasn't, in fact, faith that healed them. It was just, you know, part of the cases, that's just how it happens. Some of them just go into remission. So if it was outside of that, then the person would not be violating the base rate fallacy. If a thousand people out of a million were healed through uh, uh, just spontaneous remission, uh, and in fact, we took a sample size, we did a real scientific method kind of study, and we found that in a certain particular kind of group with a lot of other constants, well, let's say 5,000 people were uh, b very prayerful people and others prayed for them, and they all were spontaneously healed, and we would have only expected a thousand people to be healed. Okay, now maybe we have something. Now we have to make sure the study was good, and, and now maybe we have something. But in fact, studies have been done to see if faith does play a, a role in healing of cancer and, and other diseases. And in fact, it's shown that a smaller number of, or a smaller percentage, a smaller number of faithful people are spontaneously healed than the number of people that are spontaneously healed from that disease just by nature. So don't fall for the base rate fallacy. If there is a percentage that's in fact, if there's a probability of something, then really pay close attention to that. And if the results of something fall within that normal area, then we can't attribute them to something wild and crazy. And here's another example of this, this fallacy is, you know, one out of 18 million people win the lottery, the, the big super lotto. And so, therefore, it's not a smart investment to make at the convenience store of a $2 ticket. And then someone might respond and say, well, yeah, but my cousin did win the lottery and got $100 million. Well, that's partially anecdotal uh, fallacy, anecdotal evidence fallacy, but it also falls into this base rate fallacy. Well, yes, one out of 18 million people will win the super lotto, and that person's cousin was one out of those 18 million who won it, and it just is a coincidence, just a, a weird, crazy, random thing that you happen to know somebody, one of the 18 million people, or you know somebody who knows them, who won that, but it doesn't change the, the statistics, it doesn't change the probability of winning the lottery. So, be careful of the base rate fallacy.